Let's briefly review the four components that make up any metallic rifle or pistol cartridge that we will reload. The four basic components are the case or brass, the primer, the powder, and the bullet or projectile. The foundation of any ammunition is the cartridge case or brass. Brass is available from a number of manufacturers such as Remington, Winchester, Norma, Hornady, Nosler, and Lapua to name a few. Once fired process brass can be obtained from military or law enforcement processors or you can use brass left from your factory ammunition. If you're a first time reloader, we recommend you start with a bag of 100 cases that you can get from your friendly reloading component and tool supplier. Hopefully that will be from Sinclair International. Here are a few important terms or names you should know with respect to the cartridge case. At the bottom of the case, we see the head of the cartridge. Some cartridges have a very pronounced rim at the head of the case. Just above the head of the case is the extractor groove. This gives the extraction mechanism on your firearm a point to grab and extract the case from the chamber. Inside, at approximately the same point, is the web of the case, which gives the case much of its strength. Also located at the case head is the primer pocket, where the primer is pressed into place. The flash hole passes through the case web and vents the primer flame into the powder chamber to ignite the charge. On a bottleneck cartridge, there is a shoulder and a neck. A straight walled case will not have a defined shoulder or case neck. Finally, at the top, there is the case mouth, which is common to both cartridge types. Some cartridges will have a raised belt on the body above the web. These cartridges are referred to as belted magnum. There are some cartridges labeled magnums that do not have a belt. Primers are the ignition source for the powder and consist of a small brass cup with an explosive compound that is ignited by the firing pin in your rifle or handgun. Most rifle and pistol cases are designed for large rifle, large pistol, small rifle, and small pistol boxer style primers. Primers are available in 1,000 count boxes and sometimes 100 count sleeves and usually only represent about two to three cents of the cost of a loaded round. Federal, Winchester, CCI, Remington, and Wolf are all well-known manufacturers of primers. Primers need to be kept in their original container and locked up from curious children. Powder is our next component and usually available in one pound, four pound, and eight pound containers depending on the powder. Most modern cartridges use smokeless powder, not black powder. There are three basic grain shapes of smokeless powder, extruded or cylindrical, ball, and flake. Always keep your powder sealed in the original container. The last component is the bullet, which is available from a multitude of manufacturers. Bullets come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and it either can be a general purpose bullet or have a specific application such as target shooting, hunting, or self-defense. Within an application, a bullet may have a more specific purpose such as long-range target shooting or dangerous game hunting. Bullets are also constructed in different methods such as cast bullets, swage jacketed bullets, solid copper bullets, or lead bullets that are coated with a thin copper plating. In this introductory series, we will be using swage jacketed bullets. Normally, we can obtain higher velocities using this type of bullet. Here are a few different shapes of some common bullets. The first is a Sierra full metal jacket where the copper completely encapsulates the lead core. The next is a Burger target bullet with a flat base and a Burger target bullet with a boat tail. Here's a Hornaday varmint bullet with a polymer tip that promotes fast expansion. Next is a Nosler Acubond hunting bullet that bonds the core to the jacket and also has a polymer tip to improve accuracy. Lastly, we have a Hornady pistol bullet with a large hollow point. These are just a few examples of the many shapes and styles of bullets on the market.